Hi, I'm here. I'm going to talk about mortgage payment holidays, government loan schemes, how they affect buy to let landlords and buy to let mortgages. Talk about uh, some of the questions that I've been getting from landlords and some of the experiences I'm getting right now for dealing with lenders around um, certainly the payment holidays, so the mortgage payment holidays, um, which is a big topic at the moment within their within their buy to let arena. Right, so the government came out and said, look, landlords will also allow you to take payment breaks. It's not going to affect your credit profile. So everybody thought, great, you know, I've got seven properties right now. Do you know what? My tenants, one of them might not be paying me. I might as well hit a payment break. I might as well phone all of my le all of my um, properties, uh, all of my lenders, and get payment breaks. Great, it's not going to affect my credit profile. Um, wonderful, I'm going to do it. The problem is, what happens if you've got seven properties and now you want to start remortgaging right now? So let's just say two of them come up for remortgages. The issue that you're going to have is the new lenders. It's okay if it's a product transfer, so you're just flipping it from one product to another product, but what if you want to remortgage, capital raise, maybe buy another property, maybe you think this is a great opportunity to start buying now, so you want to raise a war chest to go out and buy. The problem is, as part of the underwriting for the new cases, and this is what I've come across lately, they're asking whether you've taken a payment break, payment holiday. So they'll look at your portfolios, they'll look at your bank statements, and they'll ask you, them. they've specifically asked me some questions around uh, clients, have this person, has this person taken a payment break? Now, um, things get tricky because in one hand, you've said to your existing lender, I'm having difficulty uh, paying my mortgage, I want a break, okay? In another hand, you're now going to get a remortgage because you want to raise some funds and you're essentially telling them, no, 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 everything's all fine. I just did it because I could. Now, this is where things get tricky. The new lender doesn't want to be the next lender that you're not going to pay. So what they're trying to identify is, have you, when you took that payment holiday, were you in distress? So how do they work that out? Well, they want to know out of your portfolio of seven, how many of those did you take payment breaks from of those properties? And is one of those properties the property that you're looking to remortgage? If it is, things are going to get tricky. Did you have sufficient savings and income at that time? So you can go back to them. And these are the things that a good broker will do. So uh, you, you can go back to them and say, well, do you know what? Um, I didn't realize that this is going to cause me this sort of hassle. I did it because it was in the news and I thought I'd do it. Um, Here's my bank account and I've got £20,000 in the bank. So I would have been more than capable of covering any voids. I just thought. So you've got to show, you've got to demonstrate to these lenders that you're not going to do this to them. <laughs> okay. They are frightened of, especially a lot of these lenders, a lot of the buy to let lenders, they're small specialist lenders. They don't have access to the government bank schemes. They securitize the money from the money markets. At the moment, they've got small, you know, they've got a small team having to deal with hundreds and hundreds of calls, people wanting payment breaks, okay? So they're not geared up to do this and they don't wanna deal with this, okay? Their cash flow has been hit, so they wanna make sure that you're not gonna do this to them. OK, so we as, as a broker and the client, we need to make sure that the lender understands that why you did it, how you did it, um, what will happen, what's the what's changed that you're not going to do this now. OK, so some reassurances. Otherwise, they're just going to say, no, thank you. Go to the next lender. We want to get paid. Um, I also think if you're a portfolio landlord, you've probably got a bigger chance Believe it or not, you're actually in a better position for once than the people that have got one or two buy to lets. Okay, um, I've got one lender specifically who said, "Look, if you are a non-portfolio landlord, non-experienced landlord, if you've had a payment holiday, we will not lend to you." Okay. Now I don't know how long this is going to go on for. Okay, I don't know whether it's just for the next couple of months or whether there's a, I mean, realistically, they can't really hammer you for something you did a couple of months ago. So, and also showing, demonstrating to the lenders um, what's what's changed. So, okay, I had a tenant, they stopped paying me, I took a payment holiday, 
do you know what the tenants now got a new job and it's, it's you know back back on paying me here's my bank statement to show he's paying me i've now contacted the lender do you know what my mortgages are now being paid as normal that was an issue that happened and i've dealt with it okay i think those are the types of things we've got to do working with our clients to make sure the lenders are comfortable all right another question that i had uh, and i've had a couple of times now is around the government bounce back loan obviously there's there's it's actually a, a scheme out there where the bounce back loan a lot of people a lot of landlords are utilizing right now which is giving you a loan up to i think 25 percent of last year's um net profit uh, um, your turnover sorry just your, your turnover so um if you've had a turnover of i don't know two hundred thousand pounds um, they can give you up to £50,000 bounce, bounce, bounce back loan. Now, the good thing this, and the, where it's different from other loans incentives is, first of all, it's interest-free for the first two, uh, 12 months. Secondly, there's no personal guarantee, which is fantastic. So the government is backing it 100%. So there's no personal guarantee on that. So um, I think on that basis, it's obviously too soon to know too much about it. And I have been asked the question. I, I, had a, I did a mortgage with... I think it was Metro and they asked me about the question uh, and it was a buy to let mortgage. Um, so they, they are asking, they are asking uh, these questions. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the bounce back loan is a little bit different from a payment holiday. Bounce back loan is is giving you incentives to, you know, bounce back from your business, you know, invest into your business. So um, that's a little bit more different. Generally, that's tailored for people that are self-employed and you know their business has taken a dive. I know people are utilizing it for limited companies and it could be limited companies with uh, buy to their pro uh, properties. Um, obviously speak to your accountants around that, but generally if your business and you're self-employed and you've had a bounce back loan, um, I don't think that's gonna affect your mortgage. Um, what they are absolutely scared about is you hitting a payment holiday um, and not being able to pay for things. Um, so that's as much as I know. It's very, very new. Obviously, there's only, you know, it's only been going on for a week or two and people have started now receiving those loans. Um, so I think there will be more information around this. Keep, keep tuned, like and subscribe and I will give you more information around criteria changes within the buy to let portfolio and professional buy to let landlord sectors right now. Um, we are, the good news is we're seeing more and more lenders come back to the fold with the 75% loan to values. There's a lot more lenders out there. The valuers have actually gone out there. So the values are back. Uh, there is a backlog with all of this stuff, but we are seeing more and more lenders come back to the arena. Um, I still think it's, it's, it's slim picking when you're, when you're looking at the 80% loan to value market but certainly on the 75%. The biggest delays at the moment with buy to cases that I've got is the surveys because they've got thousands and thousands and thousands of backlogs to deal with. So, um, because if you think about it, if you had a normal loan to, low loan to value mortgage, they could do it. But if it was a flat, if it was a new build, if it was a HMO, if it was anything different, they had to send a surveyor around and there's been problems around that. Um, but we are helping lots of clients. We've actually seen business really pick up in the last week. Um, we, are being, we have been inundated with people, whether they're looking to remortgage their buy to or actually looking to get into the market and start researching. So um, please do uh, give us a call if you need our help. And like and subscribe as always and thank you so much.